paradigm shift that's going on. A paradigm, sh a paradigm shift that involves forms of economic uh, organization, things like the profit-making corporation, what will that look like in 20 years' time or 10 years' time? What will consumer society look like in 10 or 15 years' time? What will the provision of public sector infrastructure in a, in a disappearing public sector look like in that period? But even more so than these technical aspects of how we organize our society, how we structure it, how we keep on going, how we live from day to day, it's also some basic Western value systems that are being questioned in this process. Basic value systems like hardcore secular growth, or like, hard, sorry, like hardcore, hardcore, hardcore secularism, like growth orientation, in which bigger is always better, and more is always what we need rather than less. Like individualistic values born in the Enlightenment, which is something that has sustained the success, particularly in Western Europe and its, and its uh, outreaches in America and, and Australia um, in the last years. That these values, I think we feel, perhaps in our stomachs, in our heads, or somewhere in our bodies, we feel that these are no longer leading us to a good place. And it is this, if you like, meta level of critique, which often feels overwhelming. Oh, it feels like, yes, it's true, but what the hell can we do about it? It's this meta level of critique, or indeed you could call it crisis, as is often said in the newspapers. Um, it's often played out in the art field today. I think a lot of exhibitions that we've shown, and also exhibitions in a number of other serious art institutions, not those that are just involved in the market, but those that are interested in art as a means to understand the world, rather than understand how to sell it. Um, that those institutions are often playing out this meta level of critique, and this fundamental critique of our value systems. <clears throat> At the same time, it's translated into many concrete local difficulties, which we see in the newspapers. Local difficulties in all parts of the world, from Kathmandu to Beirut to Eindhoven. And these require intelligent, creative, thoughtful solutions. And often that area of creative, intelligent, thoughtful solutions is called design. But if we really think about it, it's only in the bringing together of what I call these two levels. And I'm certainly not claiming any, any privilege for art to talk about the meta level or design to talk about the, the, the narrower level. I'm talking about how we characterize this division in our day-to-day -day existence. How we see maybe why art was kept out of this museum, because somehow the, the art was seen to be better. And design was seen to be applied to the past. But actually this division is not only no longer holds good, it's actually quite dangerous for the situation, for the paradigm shift that we find ourselves in. Because it's only by bringing together this meta level and the concrete level that some kind of positive solutions and ways out of the situation, or at least even ways to frame the questions that would lead to ways out of the situation, can possibly be thought. At least that's how I see it. The, the coming together of these two levels is absolutely crucial. And this coming together is precisely why that old disciplinary division between high and low, between autonomous art and applied design, between economy, politics, and social movements, that all these that divisions no longer function in a useful way. Unfortunately, we still have the patterns, the learned patterns of behavior that mean we're still following those divisions without really believing in them anymore. Yeah, having lost our belief in them, we still get stuck on the same train, going down the same track. And the question is, how can we change that? And this is why I hope, and I have a lot of faith, I think, in the recent discussions that we've had, and also in, in increasing involvement between Design Academy and Van Allen Museum. This is why I really hope that we can build this collaboration, also particularly here in Eindhoven in a city that also needs to find a place in the world after this paradigm shift.